Hello every Nudge. Um, I haven't done a video like this before, so I've got no idea how to, how I'm doing it, but I just thought I would run through uh, every iPad I have and give a bit of like history and stuff behind them. So I've, I've currently got all of these and I'm using this really awkward camera thing. Uh, I've got all of these. Oh, and I've got the, the soft speaker as well. Uh, the blue soft speaker, but uh, that one couldn't fit currently on the on my. Oh no! See already the camera fell um, on my like seat slash box thingy, which is where I'm going to be doing most of my robot stuff. But let's start with my favorite and the first eye dog ever released, the Japanese Seika eye dog. Now this is the happy version, uh, the blue one. Oh no, this is... Hi Turtle, it's not, it's not your turn yet. I'll, I'll give you, um... I'll give you attention when, when you need it. Just move all these back. Um, so yeah, this is the Japanese Sega. It has four buttons. One on, on the bottom of the head. Two on the top. And a tail at the back. All iDogs have a microphone and an audio port, so you can plug them in. Um, this is the, this and the pup are the only one that takes, are the only ones, to my knowledge, this, the pup, and the clip, are the only eye dogs have triple A's. This one taking three of them, and this one actually has a weird reset button under here. Now, as uh, I turn this one on, Uh, this is using a, a form of MIDI, which is like, basically, it has very small audio samples. Let's get it to try and play a song. You see the lights are stars as well, and the ears move up and down, the head moves. Um, if I play a song, you'll be able to hear. Oh, it's also got a light sensor. Okay, let's do it. Choose one I like. I don't have the best one unlocked. Okay, this one's pretty cool. So, um, it's using a, a form of MIDI to do its to do its music, which so this doesn't actually have pre-recorded sounds. Uh, there's a light sensor. I don't know if it. I've got this uh, lamp. Let's try and. I don't know if it will work. So yeah, you can see there, um, you can have fun with light sensors. <laughs> um, yeah, you can do that. And what else does it have that I can say about? It's got a, uh, these buttons on the head, I don't know what really they do. They're just kind of buttons. I mean, apart from using them to go through the, the songs, they're not, like, they're only there because they, they, they don't do much in the normal thing, apart from that you can press them to, to advance and get its mood up. Let me also show you something it does. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to wait. It will try and repeat back what you, what you said. Uh, come on, come on. Come on, you can do it. I'm just gonna make noise. Nige, 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 nige. And sometimes it will do this. Now, if you press the nose now, it does like two beats. It has like lots of pre pre made things. So that means I've got like what, 12 songs unlocked on this thing? Maybe a few more. Um, I believe this is a normal. Yeah, this is a normal. I like the normal, I like the normal, uh, how do I get it up? Okay, that's, I think that's enough. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put the other ones that I haven't 
done yet. Oh, so you can mess around with the tail. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get too sad. Um, also, fun fact, at the time of this recording, I got this exactly a year ago. So that kind of, that's kind of what it inspired me to do this. Also, if you hit the nose during that, it, um, it does weird things. The legs can also be posed, by the way. I don't really know why. Also, it's also got no back legs. That's, that, that's not mine. That's just all of them. They have just front legs, just these stumps for back legs. Um, but that's the Sega. Oh, here we go. Here's what I was talking about. So now if you press the nose button, it will unlock a song. And to exit this, you push the tail. And you just hold the tail to turn it off. Oh, there we go, and it's in the rest mode. Um, okay, so yeah, Sega was made in April of 2005, I believe. But yeah, that's the Sega. Okay, the next one I'm going to show, I'm not... Uh, this this one will be harder to show off. This is the 2005 original iDog. Now, mine is broken. Um, it kind of works, but I've got, like, this makeshift battery door thing going on where I had to shove another screw into it. This is actually the Spider-Man Colors iDog uh, original. So you power it up. This one sounds a lot more dog-like. You see how it's struggling. And it's insanely low-pitched. Uh, so this one's got a button, of course, I haven't actually got any mood on it, so, yeah, I'm just doing that. Uh, it's got a button here for the nose, it's got, a, oh, it's got a light sensor as well, and it's got the, the tail, which is also a switch. Same tail used on the idle Dance, I believe it's the same mold. Now, I can probably activate the light sensor in the same way, let's see. Oh, I need to face it this way. I've just got this giant lamp and I finally had a use for it. Okay, let's see. I need to make it a bit more going onto the eye dog. Oh, there we are. Yeah, you get the idea. It does the the click click sound, which is the the normal ones. Uh, and every other ride dog doesn't have like the it 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 always struck me as odd is how this one has this record scratch. I guess what I could do is no, that wouldn't work. I was gonna try and get and get something on it, but uh, a mood. This thing has a very complicated mood system. And the reason why I'm not showing this one off in great detail is it's kind of, yeah, mine's struggling. Um, this one came out in, I believe, the summer of 2005. Well, this actual, this model actually came out in 2006. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a 2005, so I just call it 2005. I may get another one, I'm not sure. If I'm going to get any, it's the 2007. Also, the only one I don't have is a pup. If anyone has a uh, a spare iDog pup, by the way, I'm uh, I'm interested in one, so uh, let me know if you do, because I uh, I could I could use a pup. I could... Uh, yeah, pup. the iDog pup is a cool one. Okay, next up we have... Now, I don't know if this one comes first, but I believe it does. It's iPenguin. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that this one has an audio port on the side. I forgot to mention that. Okay, here it is. Here's the eye penguin. Um, this one is basically like an idle pup. You know what? It's only got two buttons. At least it moves. Uh, the feet move. This is a penguin. It was called the uh, the icy. Uh, for like icy is in cold. I don't like that name, so I just refer to it as eye penguin. This was also this was also called eye dog world penguin, I believe. Because in the UK, they were marketed in a really weird way. Okay, I just adjusted the camera, so hopefully it doesn't look as terrible. Or even more terrible. Uh, let's power up by Penguin. He moves from side to side, and his... His, uh... His little... His little arms flap up and down. Like that. And it squeaks. It's a normal right now. Dude. 
That is not good, my camera just died. The... I'm using this really unstable tripod, and it's not working. So... <laughs> I, uh, hope this isn't too distracting. Um, what else can I say about the iPenguin? It's got a port, audio port on... It's kind of hard to find. It, I found it quite difficult to find. It's on it's on its side next to the its left flipper so if it's facing towards you, it's on like the back right side. Also I don't know if this is normal, but mine has a very rattly battery door. And uh you you can do that, you can pull its tail and it makes uh car noises. I'm not sure if penguins do that or not. Um Okay, what can we do? what can we do with this one? I guess we can turn it off. I mean, let's watch it go crazy when it turns off. Yeah, this one does the motor test when it turns off, which is interesting. Uh, this one takes three triple A's. And by the way, I forgot to say when I got all of these. I always do that, don't I? Um, two thousand five iDog I got in February or Jan very end of January two thousand. Uh, well, this year, 2021. Um, iPenguin I got in October of 2020, and Sega I got in March of 2020 as well. But next up we have... I, I'm actually going to show off two, because I have two of them. Uh, they're Both of them are a bit broken, but... This is 2006's iCat. Now, this is like the... It's like a, it's like an original iDog, but different. That's That's like a way I can describe the iCat. Like a 2005, but different. But this one, let's power this one up. This one has problems. Let's just say that. I'm still looking for another iCat. Because this one is... Takes forever to boot up as well. Is it even working? Do I need to help it? Do I need to... Okay, this one doesn't seem to work. Oh, yes, it does. Um, yeah, the, I like the iCat because it's in a very cool black, black plastic. I'm going to try and adjust. Yeah, this is a basically dead position sensor times 15. Uh, it's also a high pitched one. And the button doesn't work 100% of the time. I got this one on eBay. I don't know if you could tell. The struggles of buying iDogs. Um. Because you do get them, trust me. You, you, you get struggles with buying iDogs. Normally when you buy them, they're either not gonna... Well, no, sometimes it depends. But I normally just like to know if, if they're working or not. Uh, another thing this had is motion or touch sensors. So you can see I'm, I'm holding it and it's doing stuff with the lights. So that's a very cool feature. Also, this one is very notorious for um, being able to be dropped the mood very quickly. <laughs> Push in the tail. Also, this one has a bad speaker, but yeah, this is. I just got it because hey, look, black eye cat. It looks really cool. Let's power this one off. I can. I guess I can quickly show off the white one. Also, the microphone doesn't work on this one. Just to add one more thing that doesn't work, I guess. And it's barely moving. Uh, this one has posable legs as well. And I believe this is a. Actually, I believe this is a two thousand and eight eye cat because it's got the. Uh, um, it's got this, this different audio port thingy, it's, it's a very, it's hard rubber rather than the soft rubber that the, my white one has, so I don't know if that's just the white one aging more, or the black one being different. Just put this off to the side, I guess I can quickly show off white iCat, wherever it may be, I don't know where the white one is, um, where's white iCat? Is is white iCat somewhere somewhere else? Did I leave it up on my shelf? No, I didn't because I showed him off. Where is it? Okay, um, here it is. Here's the white one. Well, here's the let's say here's the yellow one because it's yellow. Um, it this one does actually power on, and it it works apart from the motor pro having motor problems. But it does, it does work. Uh, almost fully, actually. Um, what move is this? Oh, it's normal. One thing you can do on this one is go. 
like that. Um, that's the white. Motor works better on it. Still not 100%, but the motor works better. Um, yeah, this one's audio port's a bit... Audio port cover's a bit thinner. Okay, next we're moving on to the... The iDog Amped, made by Tiger Electronics, actually. Uh, they were in charge of the Amped. I don't, I don't know why, but they were. Um, here's mine. I believe this is the Purple Hearts iDog Amped. I could be wrong. This one is very cool. This is pr probably my second or third favorite Hasbro next to the so my, my favorite is the dance then probably the the pink iDog pup the one that plays pop riffs that one is just really cool I love that one they're just all the pups are cool I do feel like the blue dance one is very forgotten about but uh the one thing interesting thing about this one is can I show you the ball mm -mm, mm -mm. I believe that's ex Excited, like happy or excited. I don't know. This one's got the audio port on the side, and this one takes three double A's. Got an extra speaker on the bottom. I like this one. It, initially, I thought the iDogs were going to be a much more dog like this. They're very, they're very compact. This one has a the tail can be moved back and forth. The tail does the tail not work, or does the iDog? <laughs> Oh no, it's the tail. The, the tail does work. The foot moves, the head moves, the tail moves. So yeah, this is probably the most, no, the most moving movement-based idol we'll get to. It's also got touch sensors on the face. Just one big touch sensor. I don't, I don't really know why it's there, but it is. It's like one touch sensor with different surfaces. Okay, next we're moving on. Two, my favorite iDog, uh, favorite Hasbro. It is the iDog Dance. This is the best one. Um, how do I go through all of its features in a very short amount of time? Well, it's got uh, this is the black one, it's fully working. Uh, made by Hasbro in 2008. I also believe Sega made this one. I don't have the iFish as well, that sounds one I don't have. Mine's port is a bit broken, but everything else works 100%. Let's power it on. This is the most futuristic eye dog. Um, you see it moves back on its back legs, which is just the coolest thing ever. Um, you can... It's got touch sensors, so if you do a circle on the face... Uh, let's try that again. Can you... That's going back. That's going all the way up. Uh, I just put new batteries in this not too long ago. Can you please do your dance? Do you have to go this way? Oh, here we go. Yeah, this one's got drum and bass music, so you know it's good. It's also got like 1,200 light patterns, so that's very good. Um, I got this in June of 2020. I got the Amped in... February of 2020. Um, and the iCat I just recently got a few weeks ago. I was gonna, I was thinking of refunding it, but I actually didn't because I was like, no, it looks cool on my shelf. So, you know, it, it's cool. Uh, the iDog Dance has a second, second speaker on the bottom. And it's got this, another speaker on the back. So this one's got two speakers. Uh, three double A's, m foot moves, body moves, legs move head moves, so many things move on it. I love it so much. Um, let's just make it walk all the way up. That's so cool. Um, this one also has a try me switch. But that, that is the idol dance. I did make a full review on this. I may, may redo that. It was on the old, uh, Robot Moppers channel. You know, speaking of that channel, I don't know if I'll be using it anymore. I might just migrate all my robot stuff to my main channel because, um, Okay, I've put that one down there. Uh, I just, I don't know, I felt, I found it kind of difficult making videos without including all the knowledge references and all the just stuff like that. It kind of felt like I, it kind of felt, I don't know, um, it was, I mean, I enjoyed doing it, but I, I would rather do it on my main channel. Anyway, next we have 2008's, uh, this is extremely rare, it's the iTurtle. 
that uh, we press this. This one I just cleaned a few, few, few weeks ago, or a few days ago. Um, also, review on MIP Arcade. Maybe coming, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this one is in normal mood. This is like the hardest eye dog to get up, I think. Uh, I don't even know if you can see it. There it is. Yeah, eye turtle is very good. Very good one. This is a high pitch. Three triple A's. A lot of them take triple A's. It's also got a try me switch. I can't just show the try me mode on this one because look, here's the try me. Careful there. <laughs> Careful there, eye turtle. Yeah, eye turtle. Very good one. Two thousand and eight Hasbro. Uh. It's like the eye penguin. This is like the this is this is basically a two thousand eight eye penguin. Um, it all, all, audio port on the side. Uh, this on the back. Okay, what what noise do you think a turtle would make? Because uh, this doesn't sound like a noise a turtle would make. That that doesn't sound like a turtle to me. Okay, uh, next I think. I think we're ready to uh, move on. By the way, the foot moves on this one. Moves up and down, the head moves. Left to right, and the shell pops up and down. Um, next, I got this the same day as the Amped. I got them both in a bundle. Next one is, how long do we have to spend on this one? I don't know if we'll be spending very long on it. This is the Idle Clip, 2008. Um, one button, nothing moves. Doesn't sound too great. It's got a cable attached to it. Uh, it's got an annoying mood system. Oh, look at that. It's sad. Probably because I forgot to turn it off yesterday. And it was just on for an hour. But this riff is really cool. But yeah, just a ton, ton of buzzing noises from the speaker. The one thing I do like about it is, if you look on the back, I mean, I do like this eye dog. I don't not like it, it's just the least interesting one. Um, if you look at the back, you can see that there's actually the, the footprint thing on the back. And there, this section just comes out. This is like, this is the eye dog, this is just the head of an eye dog, it's not even real, not even really a, I mean, it is, it's okay, I don't know if it's bad, but it's not great. Also, the only reason also I like it is because it's got an audio out, so that's also cool. I like that. Like, you can use this thing, you can use it as, like, pass-through. You can use it to get its mood up and get another one to mood up at the same time. So that's very good. Now, the last one I have to show is this. I got this one on my birthday of 2020 as well. So, next is iDog Soft Speaker, and oh my, it's huge. It is very big. Um, it's like the biggest eye dog there is. It's just a giant stuffed eye dog that is got a good speaker for what it is. Um, let's power it up. <laughs> this one is very big. I just realized that if I actually stood my tripod up or tried, but this thing is like two years old, so it the legs are very flimsy. Not as flimsy as, say, for example, the. The zizzle is, but it's it's still flimsy nonetheless. I mean, it gets the job done, but barely. Um, let's turn it on. Oh, does it not work? This one has... This one's weird. Uh... Do I have to switch it on? I think I do. Well, well, well. Is this a high-pitched or a normal? I'm not sure. This is, like, exactly like an amped, but not an amped. Um... I do still feel like that camera's really annoying, and I can't do anything about it. So it's just gonna have to stay like that. You're just gonna have to look at its its face like that. Um, let's play it. So yeah, very um, I like this one. It it's got a very good sound to it. Uh, it's, let me shove try me. Again, there's not really much to talk about on this one apart from that some of the. Things are like this. They're not like felt. They're, they're like rubber almost. I like the like the trim on the uh, legs here. I think that's very cool. I think for what it is, this could have been a whole lot worse. I mean, plush puppy, but you know we don't talk about that. 
Um, I can show the demo. Here's what the demo is. <laughs> but yeah, I don't soft speaker is a good one, but there's just not much to say about it because it is essentially the clip, but better. Also, why does the clip look like an amped but play original riffs? Someone explain that. But yeah, audio port is on the side. Um, now I'm gonna get all of these back in frame. But that that is a very uh, it's an in depth look at all my iPads. Uh, let's put got the original. Oh no, it's not powering on, is it? The Sega. And iCat. Black iCat. I penguin, and finally, let's not forget the dance. So yes, this is my whole entire idol collection, and uh, I hope this video was somewhat enjoyable. I'm I'm gonna have to still work on the camera, and hopefully this is still recording. But yeah, um, if you have any robot suggestions, let me know. I was thinking of uh, reviewing this really crappy one I I have. Um, if you want to see that, let me know. But yeah, that that was a uh, a look at all my eye dogs. And before I go, um, let's turn the Sega eye dog off. So bye, every nudge and every other nudge. I'm just stalling for time now. Bye, not nudge. Bye, every nudge. Not, not, not.